After three people died in a wrong way crash on the Loop 101 last weekend, family and friends of one of the victims is calling for change. They have started an online petition to get the attention of state leaders. Team 12's Adriana Loya tells us what they want to see happen as they grieve for their loved one. She does live up to her name, the Angel. At 29 years old, Angel Mary Lopez Carrillo touched many lives. She was just a very lovable, caring person. Anastasia Prophet speaking on behalf of the family. She and Angel were like sisters, 13 years of friendship, even getting matching tattoos. It was just like a family to me that I lost a part of. Their world was turned upside down last Sunday. Angel and her boyfriend, Reginald Porter, were heading north on the Loop 101 near Camelback Road around 2.30 in the morning when a car driving the wrong way hit them head on. The couple died on scene. The wrong way driver, 23-year-old Caleb Encomo, also died. Investigators believe he was impaired. I don't want her to just be another number. I, we want to make a difference. According to DPS, two out of three wrong way crashes are caused by impaired drivers that often have blood alcohol levels more than twice the legal limit. To prevent wrong way crashes, ADOT installed thermal camera systems on several highways across the valley, added bigger signs and flashing lights. But Angel's friends say more needs to be done. Like how many more car accidents do they need to see before, you know, it gets worse? Anastasia created the Angel's Way petition directed at Governor Doug Ducey, asking for tire spikes and large yellow barrels to be installed at ramps in an effort to stall wrong way cars before they make it to the highway. I'm not going to stop until something is said to any of us that we're going to figure this out. This as the honor and angel that left them too soon. Unfortunately, we're not promised tomorrow, but let's make a difference. Adriana Loya. 12 News. All right, Adriana. New